They have the this is the biggest time of the year. They should be putting out the best product they have. They have plenty of guys they can put out there. Instead, they let Monday Night Football kick their ass every week. Even if it's not a good game, they probably lose so many viewers because no one gives a shit anymore. So the product's so bad. They just have so much. They have so much talent. And they just don't use it. That's exactly it. it. They have so much talent on their roster. They have Dolph Ziggler. They have Cesaro, Bray Wyatt. All these guys, okay, maybe with the exception of Dolph Ziggler, he hasn't been used right for the last year. But Cesaro and Bray Wyatt... He hasn't been, they've been missed you so bad. <laughs> yeah. But Bray Wyatt and Cesaro were two huge shining stars coming out of WrestleMania. Cesaro, I don't know what the hell they're trying to do with him. He's, someone put out a stat recently that after he lost the U.S. title to Kofi about a year and a half ago, the guy has lost 10 consecutive mid-card title matches. And that's not including the one last night, so 11 or 12 now, if you include the one from SmackDown... I don't know, but it's ridiculous <laughs> how much they are misusing Cesaro, Bray Wyatt, Dolph Ziggler, maybe not so much. But they have Triple H go out there. And I meant, I, I, I jinxed myself when I said this. The Authority, I like them better when they're not on STV as much and when they show up, it means something. Like last night on Raw, that was their first appearance on Raw in, in a while, I think. Or at least one of their first major appearances, whatever. And then they have it circa 2013 all over again when they have Triple H bury. And I'm not even using the term lightly. They had him bury The Miz and talking about his direct DVD career because that ruins the entire gimmick right there. And that's supposed to be a guy that's supposed to be contending for your Intercontinental Championship. It makes absolutely no sense. And Bray Wyatt, a guy that theoretically should be number three on your heel totem pole right now because freaking Kane in 2014 should not be anywhere near the main no. event scene. Why is he even in the main event of Raw in 2014? Why John Cena, Randy Orton, and Kane are all facing each other in the main event of Raw in 2014? So many times in 2014, too. Exactly. Ambrose is the only thing that is keeping a lot of people watching around. And Seth Rollins, too. But Bray Wyatt was not even on TV last night with the, with the exception of the video packages. Cesaro, I have no idea what they're doing with him. They have... A big problem right now that we're going. They change his entrance every week too. His freaking attire. Who Cesaro? Cesaro? Yeah, it's ridiculous. They just don't know what they're doing right now. They have absolutely know what they're doing. They have absolutely no idea, any I, slightest idea, what they <laughs> should be doing with so much freaking talent on their roster. And this is a guy that had a outstanding match with Sheamus at the pay per view and Night of Champions. Next tonight he's losing, and the biggest part of the the biggest part of this that pisses me off is the fact that. Last night, they had Big Show, their whole Russian flag thing with Rusev and all that other garbage. That's a better feud than his feud with Mark Henry. That's not really saying much, but that is also a very dumb feud. To have Big Show and Mark Henry, even in the same breath, atop the babyface totem pole in 2014, that is when you know you have a problem. Mark Henry is on the verge of turning heel, and I do not want to see another Big Show Mark Henry match in 2014. I don't want to see another one of those either. It makes absolutely no sense. And then WWE puts out an apology saying, We're sorry for disrespecting the flag of Russia. Why don't you okay, put out an apology? Right. What? Here is one thing I don't I don't I do not get about that. Shawn Michaels blew his nose in the Canadian flag and rubbed the Canadian flag in his crotch. And and me, I am Canadian, and personally I I took zero offense to that. Exactly. But, and then you had Jericho, like what, kick the Brazilian flag or whatever. He gets suspended for a month. Big Show does this crap and like pulls it down. Basically, does nothing with the flag. He just pulls it down, and they do that. Suspend like, Big Show, please. If they're going to suspend Jericho for thirty days, <laughs> suspend Big Show for the next thirty, sixty. Do you know? Do you know what else he fell for? Even though he was never that big, Jack Swagger fell for the face <laughs> there too. Even though he's not the best star, but like he was like. Pay per views. Now he's losing on Bo Dallas and the guy Bo was... Dallas fell apart. Like, oh, oh no, what the fuck is happening? We're talking about Bo Dallas on the show. Bo what? Dallas went to undefeated to main event <laughs> superstar. He was undefeated for a while. They haven't beat Mark Henry last night on Raw, and they ruin anything they give to Bo Dallas by having <laughs> to get the crap kicked out of him by Mark Henry, a guy that hasn't been relevant in the last three years backstage on Raw. It pisses me off because it makes no sense whatsoever. Heel turn. Heel turn, absolutely. But like I said, that's great that Mark Henry's going heel, but I have no desire to see him face. Like, if he goes heel, who's he going to face? John Cena again? Dean Am what, Dean Ambrose again? Really? I have no I have no desire to see that whatsoever. You know what I mean? Put out an apology. You put out an apology for disrespecting the Russell flag. Put out an apology for giving us a fucking gator. I'm sorry for swearing on the EC radio, <laughs> but this calls for it. A fucking gator, a bull, and a fucking bunny. In the ring at the same time, <laughs> and that's supposed to be your plug for the new Leprechauns movie that Peter got. Was they Go right were ahead. fuming at that. I guarantee you. Who? Peter was fuming at oh, that. Oh, Peter. Yeah. 
Oh my god, that's I was segment. like, what the hell is this? You're I, basically like, saying to your viewers, go ahead and change the channel to football. Go no, ahead. you know what the worst part about it is? If that was at the end of the show, one of the last segments. How many kids are staying up at that point watching the show? Put that in the beginning. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. Right before the main event, they put a gator, midget, a bull, and a freaking <laughs> bunny on TV. When all their adult viewers are watching, that makes zero sense at all. Put another like segment or something that's a match or something that people will enjoy. Put the whole kitty shit thought, in the beginning. And you never thought you'd use all those three animals in one sentence. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. You, put, you put the Usos, you put Stardust and Goldust, the current WWE Tag Team Champions, in a Superstars match, and you have freaking Adam Rose, Slater Gator, and Los Matadores. Los fucking Matadors. <laughs> I hate them so much. I hate Los Matadors. I, hate, I, hate Los I love Primo and Carlito, but I hate Los Matadors. You put those three acts. It's like the it's like the Bermuda Triangle of shit in yep. W in wrestling right now. Yep. In one segment, you're basically telling your viewers. Bobby Roode put out a tweet last week after the bunny was on Raw. He was wrestling or something. Bobby Roode's like, "Wow, this is what wrestling has come to." And this is like a TNA wrestler. He said something along those lines during Raw last week, and God knows that TNA is no competition to WWE right now. 